yourself? I'm doing pretty well. How are all you people out there in television land? My friends, today is Tuesday. And I'm going to be honest with you. At first I was like, oh, maybe I need a spring break. Maybe, maybe I'm not going to be good to go live today. But then I realized that being live with you guys is one of my favorite things. Admittedly, my favorite program, though, is when I get to listen to Miss Rebecca tell great stories on Fridays. But I love sharing stories with you, too. So, this Matthew's. I love all your programs, but Matthew's probably one of my favorites. So, I'm glad that I'm here. Um, especially yesterday, since I wasn't here, because I had to help a friend with a colonoscopy. Everybody no! Okay, so no! It's March 30th. It's Tuesday. March is almost finished. Yesterday was Monday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. The seeds, uh, birthdays are going on today. Today it's sunny. Today it's sunny. Yesterday was sunny, wasn't it? Things are good. Things are good sun-wise. It's still spring. It's still spring, and for that we are very thankful. We are indeed. My friends, would you sing the one, two, threes with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. Stop right there. Fifteen. That's the number that we are exploring today. Let me show you. We have one. We have five. And Miss Cindy is home today. She is home from the hospital. So she's already surrounded by Phil Dunphy. So we don't even have to bring Phil out today. Although we should, just in case she's going to watch. I'm just looking at you, Cindy. Because she has a lot of pictures of him all around her house. But here, we have the number one and the number five. And together, when one is in the tens place and five is in the ones place, it's 15. Yes, indeed. This is what it looks like. I mean, this is what the number looks like. You... Five's a little jumpy. Five can always be a little jumpy. It's kind of weird. Not really. Okay, so there's five. And here's one. There. One and five. One and five, 15. Its name is F-I-F-T-E-E-N. In a 10 frame, we already have 10. We know there's 10 here. We fill up all of the 110 frame and half of the next 10 frame. The number before it was not 13. And you know, I don't understand why I, the number before it was 14. And the number after it is 16. Check it out. Here's what 15 looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Take a look, take a look. We know. Five, 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 five ten, fifteen. You counted by fives. It's awesome. You know what else is number five? My friends, Alice, you know, she's a camel. And many camels have one humps. And some camels have two humps. But Alice had three humps. And she had four humps. And she had five humps. Alice the camel had five humps. Alice the camel had five humps. Alice the camel had five humps. Go, Alice, go, da, da, da. Alice the camel dropped a hump. Alice the camel dropped a hump. Alice the camel now had four humps. Go, Alice, go. Ba, bum, ba. Alice the camel said goodbye to a hump. Alice the camel said goodbye, hump. Alice the camel now had three humps. Go, Alice, go. Ba, ba, ba. Alice the camel gave away a hump. Alice the camel gave away this hump. Alice the camel gave away the hump. Now Alice has two humps. Ba -bum -bum -bum. 
Alice the camel could have stopped there, but Alice the camel, no, she didn't care. Alice the camel said, two humps is too many, so I'll give this one away. Alice the camel had one hump in the middle. Alice the camel had one hump in the middle. Alice the camel didn't need that hump. No, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba. Alice this camel had zero humps. Alice this camel had zero humps. Alice the camel had zero humps because Alice is a horse. Hmm. Alice the camel, yep. Now, could you predict what was going to happen there? Predict is when we try to think about what might happen next or what might happen in the future. Ms. Rebecca, have you ever predicted anything? I would think so. Do no you... specific example comes to mind, though. Okay. Well, <clears throat> sometimes, well, weather people, weather people, they do something that's called predicting the weather. But there's different ways to predict. Now... One way to predict would be just to say, you know what, I think it's going to snow today. But that's not an educated prediction. That's just kind of putting it out there like, I think it's going to snow today. Not thinking about the fact that it's sunny and too warm to snow. Not thinking about the fact that it's March 30th and usually... We don't have snow March 30th, right? So there's predictions that we can make knowing what we already know. For example, my friends, whenever I wake up in the morning, I know that one of the things I should do is feed my little kitty. Okay? And I know I can predict I can't see into the future. I am not the magic eight ball. I can't see into the future. I have no magical powers. But I can predict that when I put that food down by her, she's going to start eating it. How do I know that? How can I say that? Well, because yesterday when I did it, when I put the food down, she ate it. The day before, when I put the food down, she ate it. The day before that, when I put the food down, she ate it. So there's a good chance that when I put that food down today, I bet she's going to eat it. Some things are more predictable than others. Some people are more predictable than others. And the book I want to share with you today from our math start is about a pretty predictable some people are just wild cards. You just can't predict them. You don't know what they're going to say, what they're going to do. They're just going to whoop. But Hanky wasn't there. Hanky was allergic to hay. He sneezed about every 20 minutes. That's how he got his name. Hanky was short for handkerchief. Hanky didn't just sneeze on schedule. Every day he did the same things at the same time. Hanky is so predictable, Jazz teased. We always know exactly what he's going to do. Yeah, said Majesty. What a bore. Hanky just sneezed. Achoo! And walked away. Hanky hated being teased. But even more, he hated thinking that Jazz and Majesty might be right. Am I really boring? He wondered. Hanky's best friend, Spugplug, tried to make him feel better. Don't let them bother you, man. But Hanky didn't listen. I'll show them I'm not boring, Hanky thought. I can be as unpredictable as anybody. The next day, Jazz and Majesty were hanging around the gate when Sparkplug trotted by. Just watch, said Jazz. Hanky's going to come out of that barn at exactly 10 o'clock. You don't know that, said Spark Club. You're just guessing. Jazz winked at Majesty. 
Sparkplug didn't know that Jazz and Majesty had been watching Hanky for days. They knew that Hanky's owner, Susan, always brought Hanky out of the barn an hour after she arrived. Today, she got to the stable at 9 a.m. An hour later would be 10 a.m. Can we see that happen on Monday? Susan got to the stable at 9.15. Hanky came out at 10.15, one hour later. Tuesday, Susan came to the stable at 9. He came out at 10. On Wednesday, she was a little bit late. She got there at 9.30. Hanky came out at 10.30, one hour. Thursday, she was there at 9. One hour later at 10 o'clock, Hanky was outside. Friday, 9.15, and an hour later, there's Hanky outside, 10.15. So here she is. It's 9 o'clock, one hour later, o'clock. Let's see. Inside the barn, Hanky could hear Jazz and Majesty. Okay, it's my chance to be unpredictable, he thought. I just have to stay inside until after 10 o'clock. Hanky lowered his head and dug in his heels. Susan tugged on the reins. Hanky sneezed. Achoo! And it was such a big sneeze that Hanky couldn't keep his balance, and he staggered through the barn door at exactly 10 o'clock. Boy, is Hanky predictable. He's very predictable, yeah. The next day, Spark Club, Spark Club was chewing on some fresh grass. When Jazz and Majesty trotted over, and Jazz said, I predict that Hanky will be wearing his blue saddle pad today. Hmm. Now, is that a guess or is it a prediction? Let's see. Now she noticed that Hanky wore his red pad once a week and his blue pad the next. All last week he wore the red one. Look, saddle pad. Week one he wore red, week two blue, week three red, week four blue, week five red. What did he wear six? Let's see. Inside the barn, Hanky saw a new chance to be unpredictable. He just had to make sure that Susan put on his red saddle pad today. Hanky snatched his blue pad in his teeth and hid it beneath a pile of hay. And then, of course, he sneezed. Achoo! And hay went flying just as Susan arrived. What's your pad doing underneath this hay, Hanky? And she put on the blue pad. And oh no, thought Hanky. Now I'm just as predictable as ever. The next day, Jazz and Majesty watched as Hanky came out to the field to graze. I bet he rolls over first thing, said Jazz. Of course he will, said Majesty. He's done it every day for the last five days. Did he roll over on Wednesday? Yes. Thursday? Yes. Friday? Yes. Saturday? Yes. Sunday? Yes. Is he going to roll over today? Hanky heard them. I won't roll over. I won't. I won't. I won't. But the grass was so tempting. Hanky looked over at Jazz and Majesty. They were looking the other way. Okay, now's my chance, he thought. He flopped on his back. He wiggled. He rolled. He felt wonderful. Majesty turned around quickly and said, Ah, same old Hanky. Same old horse. Hanky got to his feet with a sigh. Now watch. I bet he'll get a drink next. He does it every time. Roll over on Wednesday, then get a drink. Roll over Thursday, drink. Roll over Friday, well, almost every time. No. Saturday, yes, yes. Sunday, yes, no. Monday, hmm. Hanky heard her, but he didn't care anymore. And he was thirsty. He walked over to get a drink. And predictable, he thought. I'm boring and there's nothing I can do about it. So he got a drink. Jazzy called out, I predict you'll sneeze in three minutes. She knew that Hanky sneezed about every 20 minutes. And his last sneeze had been 17 minutes ago. Spark plug came over to Hanky. Don't worry. I don't care if you do the same thing all the time. You're my best friend and I like you the way you are. Hanky felt better. You're right, said Hanky. 
From now on, I'm doing what I want to do when I want to do, no matter what anybody thinks. He stuck his nose back in the water. Uh, just then, his sneeze caught up with him. That was predictable, said Spark Plug, but it sure wasn't boring. And so that's the thing. Just because something's predictable doesn't mean it's boring. Like, have you ever heard of Old Faithful? It's a geyser in Yellowstone Park. And we can predict when it will come up, when this, like, hot water, like, whoosh. And that's predictable. Because it goes on a schedule, all right? And you can see, like, when it came yesterday, when it came last week, you know? So you can make that prediction. But when it comes, it's pretty crazy. You can Google, ask your super special rep to help you Google Old Faithful or any of those geysers in that national park. It's, it's crazy. It's really, really cool. You gotta check it out. All right. Wait, that is Yellowstone, right? Mm hmm. It's not Yosemite, is it? Mm. It's in a national park. It was one that I went to, but I can't remember. It's in one of the national parks. It's really cool. Oh, my goodness. So, a prediction. And there's a word in here. I don't know if you heard it. Guess. A prediction is different from a guess. A guess is when you just, like, don't use any of, your, of what you knew before and just say, eh, whatever. It's this. Or you think you're the magic eight ball. It'll be this, you know? But a prediction is used on some, is based on evidence and what happened before. It's more scientific. It's a scientific way of looking at things, which is always a good thing. So see if you can make any predictions. Think about that. Like think about what happens like when your super special grown up comes home. What does he or she usually do then? Maybe give you a kiss. What usually happens before you go to bed at night? Do you get a story? Are you just guessing that you might get a story? Or is that a prediction, an educated guess? So just something to think about, my friends. Give yourselves a kiss on your head because you have a beautiful brain. Give yourselves a kiss on your heart because you have beautiful hearts. And look in the mirror and say, hey, good looking, because you're all good looking. And tune in at 12.15 today. Mr. Rebecca takes you 